Let's go fishing. For what? How about genetically modified salmon? Everyone is talking about the benefits of eating fish, salmon in particular, because it is low in mercury. Trouble is the dwindling supplies of uh, Atlantic salmon. What can be done? Well, how about genetic modification? Atlantic salmon don't grow very big and they don't grow very fast. But it is possible to take a gene from the Pacific salmon and a gene from a fish that lives in the uh, Atlantic and cold temperatures called the pout, insert these two genes into the egg of the Atlantic salmon, raise the new fish, and these will then grow more quickly and much, much larger. They're raised in inland ponds in Panama. There are questions, of course, that arise, and uh, the Food and Drug Organization in the U.S. has assessed all of these questions and has concluded that uh, the fish are environmentally safe and are safe in terms of our health as well. They've looked at allergy issues, they've looked at what happens if the fish escape by accident, will they be able to mate with their wild cousins? The answer is no, the fish are going to be sterile. So the assessment is that the benefits outweigh the risks. Unfortunately, I won't be able to try one of these fish because I have a fish allergy to any kind of fish. But if I didn't have that, I would have no problem eating genetically modified salmon.